first came to ATI, they gave me everything I needed to get to work and get to my job and get going. Um, they've provided me the opportunities to learn things that I couldn't have learned anywhere else. They've given me the opportunity to grow in leadership roles and to widen my knowledge. Beyond that, inside of my work environment, there are times in the past where I've gone to employers and said like, hey, I think there's a better way we can do this. And they would say, we know what we're doing. We've been doing this a long time. Just do it the way we told you to. When I say that here, I'm always met with one of two answers. The one is, hey, we've definitely tried that before. Way to go, thinking outside of the box, but that's not gonna work. Number two is, let's go find out. That, that is something, if you're interested in, in science or manufacturing or technology, you show up to work and you have an idea and someone says, let's go find out if that's a good idea or not. That's, that's everything. My job is um, coordinating efforts in the metallurgical and physical testing labs. Um, we perform uh, examinations on uh, specimens from our uh, metallic products, put them under a microscope, check them out for defects, uh, make sure they're ready for the customer. And in our physical testing lab, we'll also um, put those products under various forms of physical stress and strain and test and evaluate those for results as well that go to the customer. What interests me about the type of work that I'm doing, it's kind of like four pillars of it really. There's like qualitative examination. Um, so we're looking for things within the material and the material's kind of going to tell us what's going on with it. Then you have these quantitative exams where we're putting them under these stresses and we're allowing these instruments to perform these tests and give us the values, right? And then to go deeper into each of those different sections, you have kind of the science of metallurgy and, and everything that goes into the manufacturing process that we're kind of examining and uh, uh, helping the engineers to understand and then you have the technology behind it as well so there's like you have saw plenty of really interesting and cool equipment in there that does some very interesting and cool things there's a lot to do there's a lot to learn it's a very deep well and that's pretty much what keeps me coming to work every day <laughs> So when we get a sample into the lab, we're getting a small representative portion of the entire material outside in the foundry. Uh, we're taking that, we're sectioning pieces off for the test that we want to perform. We're mounting those pieces inside a uh, thermoset plastic mount, looks like a hockey puck. And we take that, we grind it, we polish it, we put a really fine finish on that material so there are no scratches visible. Then we take that and we hit it with an acid etch to remove a small layer of the material to reveal the grain structure within the material. And we put that under the microscope and we take a look at it and we're looking for defects, we're looking for inclusions, we're looking for uh, material that isn't quite the way it's supposed to be in structure. I was going to school at LBCC and started working here through the CWE program across the street in the chemistry lab and they liked me over there they liked me over here and just sort of fell into it. I was studying for engineering I wanted to be a mechanical engineer uh, but I think it's a lot of my life experience prior to that that really steered me into this direction. I always felt like I thought like an engineer and I operated like an engineer, but I didn't know the language or how to work like an engineer. Now I don't see myself going anywhere else.